A recent study showed that women with young children don't sleep through the night. Researchers were at a loss to explain why. They could have asked me. Instead of sleeping, I do the list. Number one, take Emily to school. I am just so jealous you get to look nice all day. We just frump around at the park. <laughs> Number two, keep my head above water at work. Sir, are you running a little late this morning? I have two choices here. The man's excuse, bad traffic, down power lines, faulty carburetor, or <laughs> mammogram. Oh. Number three, spend more time with Richard. He must be completely exhausted. Not completely. Number four, the kids. <laughs> Kindergarten bake sale. Christmas lights. Birthday party. I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do it. I don't know how she does it. All those children. I, I have two. So impressive. You have four. Yeah, but two of mine are twins. So Jack Abelhammer in our New York office has sparked to a proposal and he'd like to meet the author. <clears throat> oh, God! Have you been there? Uh, long enough, but uh, go ahead. If there's anything else you uh, need to adjust. This could be a big step up. Gives your kids a chance to spend all that extra quality time they've been hoping for with your nanny. Did you take Ben to get his haircut? Yeah. Oh, that was his first haircut. His <laughs> first haircut. Missing everything. Sorry. Everything okay? Yep. I just kept picturing little tiny bugs propelling out of my hair into his inbox. I love my work. Although sometimes I wish I didn't love it so much. You're allowed to miss your children. I need somebody down there tonight. We can't go on like this. Can't quit, Kate. Don't you think about not having to worry about priorities all the time? I don't know what we're capable of. Me without that job isn't me. But also, me without you and Ben and Emily is nothing. We're just about to make the biggest mess out of our entire lives, and you're gonna use sex to pretend everything's okay? Is that the plan? Yes. I like it.